Good afternoon, guys. This is the second installment of our how to use Square payments on your forms and in your community. As promised, I told you that we would have a second tutorial outlining how to integrate your Square account with your Jot form forms. So your candidate forms, your contact, your donation, your volunteer, how to integrate your Square dashboard with your form so that your candidates and your volunteers are paying seamlessly and you are not left paying their credit card fees. So once we get started, make sure you watched our last tutorial video last week where we talked about how to make a Square account. And I'm going to assume that you watched our videos from last year on how to build a Jot form account and how to build a volunteer form and a candidate form. So just a quick disclaimer, Jot form is not the only form builder you can use and Square is not the only credit card processing system to use. Trace DS International does not endorse one over the other on any platform. We just want to give you as many options so that when you're thinking forward of what are the best ways to start collecting payments and what are the new ways to um, not have to do credit card processing fees or get away from paper forms, here are two options, Jot Form and Square, on what to do. But again, this is not our formal suggested quotes, whatever. You can use whatever you want. This is just two tutorials on how to use something different than paper and collecting by checks. So that's the disclaimer and I feel like it has to be said. So let's get into it. Great. So here's my volunteer form. I'm going to click edit form. Okay. And here's my pretty generic looking volunteer form. I'm sure you guys will have something like that. And I'm going to go over here to the left hand side where it's flashing for me and I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to type payments. I'm going to type square, right? And there's only one option so that makes it easy for selecting. And I'm at the bottom. I'm going to pull this over and drop it right here. All right. And it says you haven't configured anything yet. Yes, that's right. So I'm going to click on connect with square. And it's going to have this little pop-up here and make sure you have pop-ups allowed in your screen or else you'll be clicking this button and you won't see anything. You don't want to disable pop-ups. You want to make sure that turns on. Right? And it already remembers me because I've logged into this square dashboard a million times in a day. And it's initializing. It just takes a little bit, especially depending on your internet speed. Okay, so it looks like it was happy with that. So now you should have a check mark that says connected and that means just what it says. It's connected with your account. I'm gonna choose my business location, which would be your business name, your community's name as you put it in. And then I'm gonna hit continue. All right, now as you can see that little warning has changed where it said it's not configured. Now it says you don't have any products. So I know the products for our volunteers and that's two different products basically. First one is full team payment. And we require that you buy a t-shirt and our t-shirts are $15 to make up for the variety of sizes that you can purchase. Full team payment, which is 225 plus 15 is 240. I'm gonna hit save. Great, and then I'm gonna create another product which is first payment plan installment and we like to do four different installments because we have three team meetings and then the and then one more team meeting right before the weekend so four team meetings total for a sixty dollar a pop payment struggling on the spelling today <laughs> so 60 times 4 is 24 save all right, then we can see they can choose. Either they're gonna pay their full team payment or they're doing the first installment of the payment plan. And then I'm gonna go over here to tax. And I'm gonna say that 3.1% that we had talked about on the last one. And if you look right here, it says this line item now is tax. And we don't wanna get into any legal issues. So I just fix that to say processing fee. And that is a clear differentiator. This is not a tax that's going to our state or federal government. It is a processing fee that covers what the credit card charges. And then I go ahead and exit out and I'm good to go. So to just give you guys a little sample, I'm gonna click publish. 
and I will view this form as an attendee would see, or as a volunteer would see. And if they scroll on down to the bottom and hit full, it automatically adjusts that processing fee to 3.1%. And again, if you recall from our video before last week, the actual fee is a little bit higher, so you can adjust it to um, account for that. I, I try to do both because we, if you have the card on hand and you're at the team meeting and you're actually swiping that card, it's only a 2.9, 3.0%. Whereas if they're entering in their card like they are right here, we don't have their card and Square adds a little bit of a higher processing fee rate to account for if that person were to say, whoa, I never gave my card or they dispute the charge. So you can always go back in here and you can edit that to be the actual 3.5%, which is what Square will charge for a form that's come through on this rate. Or you can do 3.6 because it's 3.5 plus like 15 cents. So you're trying to account, you're trying to make sure you're not losing money before it even comes in, which is why you're probably watching this tutorial. You're tired of losing money to processing fees. So as you can see, it went up about a dollar, dollar 25, I guess. And that'll cover it so when it deposits into your account, you really are making 240. Are they paying the actual um, the extra $8.64? Yes, but you are not losing that $8.64. And if you're someone like me who never carries cash and can't even find her checkbook, I'm sure it's the same one I've had since I was 16 and I'm 30 years old now. So that just shows you how many times I write a check. This is way more convenient than going to the bank. I don't even know how you get a checkbook and writing a check and then you know waiting for that to cash in. So once again, um, this is just Trace Days International and this is the second installment of your Square tutorial video. Put any kind of comments or questions you have down below this video. I, I try to read those very quickly and answer them in an efficient way. And then later this month in September, we're gonna be talking about how to build a website from scratch. So if you have a website that hasn't been updated in a number of years, in fact, you don't remember the last time it was updated or who built it, then maybe it's time for an update and we'll be walking you through step-by-step step how to build a website from scratch. Thank you.